before you can pay the phone bill before you can pay your car before you can uh, buy that new dress and do all these other things that you want to do first of all consider paying yourself hi and welcome to boss his money i'm your host pastor charity in case we haven't met on this channel i talk about kingdom finances i talk about kingdom businesses and i also talk about holistic living please consider subscribing by hitting the red button and also the bell so that you don't miss any uploads that i make in this video today i talk about three important things that you need to do if you want to build generational wealth or just building wealth for yourself the first thing you need to do is whenever you get paid whenever you have an income pay yourself first remember you are the person that is working every morning you leave your house to go to work and when you get paid whatever salary whatever paycheck you get you should be the first one apart from the tithes and the offerings you should be the first one to get paid before you can pay the phone bill before you can pay your car before you can uh, buy that new dress and do all these other things that you want to do first of all consider paying yourself you are very valuable you are the one who is laboring to bring in the money so it's very important for you to pay yourself I've met so many people who have great jobs and earn a lot of money but they don't have anything to show forth that they ever worked at all it's very important for you to pay yourself I have a rule where I put 10% to tithe and 10% to myself once I pay myself then I can be able to pay other things why would you pay Verizon or why would you pay Comcast why would you pay for the cable and pay to buy shoes and pay all these other things and forget to pay the person who has been working have you ever imagined going to work and you are not paid no if you don't get paid then you are going to quit that job why are you abusing yourself you are the person that goes to work every morning you are the one that is laboring you deserve that pay the bible in first timothy chapter 5 and verse 18 says that for the scripture say thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treadeth out the corn and the laborer is worth of his reward every laborer is worth of his reward you are the one working every day working so hard what is there to show forth that you've been working if you haven't been paying yourself today i command you to start paying yourself set aside a percentage that you pay yourself you don't have to pay yourself 10 percent you can even pay yourself more or even a little less but make it a point that you pay yourself at the end of this year you should come up and say this is how much i end this year you should not go without having money that you have paid yourself and what do you do with the money that you pay yourself keep putting aside in a separate account which you don't even touch let it grow when that account grows then you can get that money and invest it i want to tell you that the work that you do there are days that you get tired or you get sick you won't be able to do the same amount of work that you are doing today and you won't be able to earn the same way that you are earning but if you have money that is saved up the money that you paid yourself you get that money and employ that money invest it so that it starts now making money for you one thing i know for sure is that money works harder than you can ever work once you invest your money it's going to bring you more money and money doesn't get tired once it's invested it will keep working and bringing in more and more money i want you to leave me a comment of how much you'll be paying yourself starting from now in case you're saying you don't earn much whatever you earn it doesn't matter how much make sure that you pay yourself and if it's not enough find yourself a side hustle that will bring you extra money to pay other bills but make sure that 
the number one person apart from God is yourself. Make sure the payment to yourself is automated. Every month, every paycheck that you get, separate that money, instruct your bank to transfer that money into that account where you will not touch and let it just grow and let it grow. And when you are ready to invest, then we can talk about investments as well. I learned this principle from the book called The Richest Man in Babylon. From the moment I learned this principle, I've always paid myself. And that is the money that I've used to invest in different ventures that I go into. It's amazing what happens when you start paying yourself consistently. You start enjoying the work that you do because you know you are being paid. And at the end of the day, your account keeps growing and you see yourself being prospered. You're not at the same level. When you don't pay yourself, you live from paycheck to paycheck. Life can be so frustrating and it feels like you're just laboring in vain. So this is the end of you laboring in vain. From now onwards, set aside an amount that you pay yourself and your life will never be the same. The second thing you need to work on is always your earning power should be greater than your spending power. I don't know how much I'm going to have to emphasize this point. It doesn't really matter how much you make. As long as you spend more than you earn, you're not going to be wealthy. It doesn't matter whether they increase your salary by 100% or even 200 or 2000%. You always have a reason to want to spend more money. So when you work on your mentality of how to spend less than you are earning, you'll be able to grow your wealth because that way you always have leftover money. You know, they say when someone's pay goes higher, the content of their being also changes. It's a natural thing that happens to human beings. It's like once you earn more money, you want to spend more. You start having more and more desires, more and more needs. Actually, we have very few basic needs. The rest of the things that we spend money on are just want. Sometimes we pay for things that we don't even need just because maybe your friend has a new pair of shoes and you also want to buy one you really don't need to spend money on such things you know what i usually tell myself if i feel like buying something is i'll stop and think do i really need this thing can i do without it many of the things we buy we don't even need them and once you start clearing your house you find that you have so many things that you have accumulated which you have no use for of which you could have been uh, spending less and earning more and then having money to spare which you can now use to build wealth with and lastly but not the least you need to work with a budget the budget is very important for every person. Without a budget, there is no way you are going to be wealthy. Because every time you wonder where the money went, believe me, there is no discipline without the budget. The budget is the one that helps you to be disciplined. A lot of people say that a budget restricts them, but no, the budget is the one that helps you, gives you permission to do whatever you want. Actually, within the budget, you can be able to do almost anything because you have everything written down. First of all, you start with the income, how much is coming in, and then you start looking at all the expenditure that you have, the regular expenditure that you have in a month and then the emergencies you also cut up for emergencies you cut up for giving you cut up for all these other things within the budget so when you have a budget it's going to guide you and help you to know whether you have enough money to meet all the wants that you have in this life a budget is very important and we are going to go into details about budgeting itself but in your budget you should make sure that you have the giving money to God and paying yourself and all the bills that you have and also your income how much is coming in and how much is going out at the end of the day your budget should be able to balance and it will show you where you are going when you have a great budget you will see yourself progressing you'll see yourself growing 
a budget is something that you should be working on on a month to month planning ahead before the money comes in you already know how much is coming in you already know what you're going to spend your money on you already know how much is coming to yourself it excites me every month when I'm working on the budget to increase to keep increasing my paycheck because I'm the one that is working and I deserve to be paid you deserve to be paid how much have you been earning how much have you been paying yourself I want you to leave me a comment and if you haven't been paying yourself please make sure to start now and that's the only way you are going to build your wealth thank you so much for watching I'm your sister cheering on your success